remember there was one night where we were going door to door to door to door and you're starting to get spread thin and uh somebody in one of the houses yelled avalanche right get the f out of the house the bomb's gonna go off but when you're in 10 different houses and somebody yells avalanche you can't go like oh which house so you just see the entire block of like team guys like run out of the houses like <laughs> jumping out like oh, what the f and then we're like wait what house was that yeah and then it turned out it was like a piece of wiring that somebody was like didn't know it was uh yeah. like a tv remote or something jeez um did you have any operations that you went on where they were super active from a from a tick or combat standpoint like that entire deployment was like fairly quiet uh we were coming in at night three in the morning i don't know if these guys just like didn't know we were tracking them or what or maybe we were just that good i doubt that i i think just the expectation was that they were safe everything we were tracking was uh it seemed like we would we would open a door and the door would be unlocked or we'd beat down the door and we were just waking them up yeah but there were many a night where they were sleeping in their beds and we catch them put our hands on their mouths or pull them like right out in their jammies they shit their pants and you know it i felt very much like the predator uh like our team was the predator and they were the prey it didn't feel at all like we're going into some like hot shit like it, you always felt that way going into it like we're gonna it get into be. some shit but all the missions were like um i don't want to say too easy but it felt very much like we're dominating yeah like just catching them totally off guard yeah yeah and i feel super lucky about that because i hear all these other stories where guys like uh they're going in and they're just getting shot off the roofs and all that and i'm like oh like we didn't have that yeah uh now at that same time you were platoon they were going out uh, on on raids and assaults that were outside of the packages that you were putting together, though, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. But you, you didn't get to go on those. No, I did. Oh, okay. uh, I I would like burn the candle at both ends. So if there was like a a mission, I knew that was at night. I would like try to nap beforehand and and do both because man, I'm there to work. Yeah, and uh, that's the fun part. The whole reason you do intel is not for intel. It's to fucking go out and and, and capture, kill people. So that's what I did. Um, to the best of my ability, it was try to like do as much work as yeah. possible. Any any good uh, outside the wire operations on the platoon side? Um, I think it was just uh, it was just capturing people. I I don't even want to say it was good work, and here's why. Like this is gonna sound kind of depressing, but every fucking guy we went in and captured, like the next day or within the next week, they'd let him go. Oh, really? It was like you would capture a guy, and then some Some mornings we would release him. And he was the guy. He was the guy. Did you, did you guys ever ask what the fuck? All the time. What was, the, was there ever an answer? No, it was just... Don't worry about it? Yeah, don't worry about it. It's some higher-up thing. And, and it, it was so defeating to know, like, these guys were killing Americans or facilitating this or making bombs or doing something bad, and then you risk your life every day, and... Like what what happens yeah and so at this point you're in your mid late 20s uh late late 20s yeah so i mean i'm curious like I, I was pretty young and looking back on it like just my my perspective of the world was very naive and and different than it is now the older i get the more at least what it seems like behind the curtain i feel like i can see a little bit um but I, you know, I'm curious. Like in, in that position, were any of the other platoon members, whether they're older, more experienced, uh, or not, but that were just like, at what point do we say, "Hey, what the fuck"? Like, I mean, is, is there a point like where, like, let's say you guys find somebody that you know, a hundred percent has blood on his hands. Maybe it's even one of our guys, like somebody you guys know, or or even you know, and they're just like, ah, whatever. Like, is there a point where you guys would be like, no? Like where you'd, you'd almost mutiny, like, no, we're not fucking letting him go. This is bullshit. Or, or make a yeah. big enough stink, like demand answers more than just don't worry about it. You know, that's a great question because my first deployment, no way. I'm not, I, I'd get pissed, but who the fuck am I? Like, I'm, I'm so low on the totem pole, I don't even ask questions. I'm just, I mean, I'd ask questions, but 
I'm not a decision maker. And, but I'd see the leadership would be fed up too. But you don't, you're, you're also not privy to the big picture, right? So if the big picture is, oh, we're drawing down, uh, then my question is, why the fuck are we there in the, in, to begin with? If we're just going on missions to keep busy. Yeah, I mean, you're putting so, guys' lives in danger yeah, for no reason. Stop going on missions. And, and that, was, that was my Afghanistan deployment <laughs> in a nutshell, was constantly asking and constantly wondering why we're either sitting on a base or going out on a mission that doesn't make sense or they're not allowing us to like get work done. Yeah. Like the military is a hammer and we fucking smash really well. But if the intent is not to smash, then pull them out. Yeah. Get the military the fuck out of any place you don't need to smash. It's an absolute waste of resources. It's a waste of amazing human beings. And that's, that's my, my hindsight. My 2020 is I look back and I go, what the fuck were we even doing there? Yeah. The government's intent was to get out early and they just, they, they pause. And so you're just waiting around, guys are getting killed and they're not even able to like affect change. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you had that thought in, in Iraq, but it was your first go around and you're like, well, who the fuck am I? Were any of the other platoon mates more rowdy about it? Uh, no, I mean, guys are, you know, team guys are disgruntled. Yeah, they're, uh, I'll find something to bitch about. <laughs> give them a bag of gold, I'll tell yeah. you how heavy it is. 